What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection opening and today we have another mystery collection. I have no idea what I just bought. We haven't paid for it yet, so you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what do you think it's worth, what do you think I should pay so that I get a good deal as well as the seller, and let's go ahead and hop into it. He did. He sent us a giveaway, which is the Gross Ghost of Fled Dreams BCCG. So we got a nice graded First edition, Labyrinth of Nightmare Common. So that's actually really cool. That is for you guys. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you guys think this thing's worth. All right, we have three binders, so we're gonna start with the first one. I think this setup will be okay, maybe. I think we'll be able to do it a little bit. Okay, wait, this is what we're gonna do because it's a ring binder. We're gonna pull them on out. So we're gonna have some glare, so I'm gonna do it like this. We have the Master Collection one right here. The full set of the promos, Exodia, Thousand Eyes Restrict, Dark Necrofear, so pretty good stuff right there. All right, second we have some commons. We got some Soul of the Duelist stuff. Oh, there's a uh, starter deck card. Nice nobleman. We've got the Red Eyes Darkness Dragons. Some commons there. Oh, there's stuff on the back. Okay, more, so is that SD1? So it looks like you had SD1 and put it all in there. So far, it's a lot of commons. So I think it's gonna, it's gonna ramp up later, but we got a Pot of Greed right there. What does it do? Let me know in the comments. All right. Yeah, these are flying everywhere. You gotta be there's stuff flying out, so. Okay, more commons. Nothing too crazy there. We've got a vampire genesis. So this is basically the whole decks of the SD1 and the SD2. So that's cool. We have the uh the mat, so it matches our mat. Looks like more commons. We can speed through these commons, I think. You guys don't really need to see all this stuff. We'll kind of fly through it real quick. Because honestly, this is a very uncomfortable position for me. Uh DR1, this is Dark Revelation. A lot of commons, and to be honest, when I buy a bunch of commons, usually I don't pay much for them at all because they are essentially worth negative money because all they do is take up space and they're usually not worth anything. There is a secret rare, Sacred Phoenix. We got more commons here. Oop. They're flying everywhere. Not much to see here. We got, oh, cheap, cheap, cheap in the yellow Dustin. That is worse. That's worse than nothing. The yellow Dustin. That is not what you want. The evil yellow Dustin. Okay, let's fly through this. Okay, let me go through this. If it's all commons, we're going to skip the rest. Okay, we got uh, we got some dragons up here. That's a starter deck as well. So we just got a lot of starter deck cards. So let's kind of... All right, here we go. Finally, we got something good. Here we go. Okay, we hit some. We hit some decent. We have two Dark Magician girls. That's pretty nice. And then two of the epic Arcana Dark Magician with a thousand knives. The uh, Dark Magic Curtain. And I don't know what that one's called. Oh, cool. Magic Cylinder as well. Dark Balter. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. And then some more Japanese. Okay, on to the second binder. I think that one was more of a starter deck one. This one is huge, so there could be a lot of stuff in here. All right, here we go. We have the second binder. I took it out so you guys can actually see everything. It looks like we have starter deck Joey. A first edition Red Eyes and an unlimited Red Eyes. That's really cool. Got some nice cards here. Some nice starter deck Joey. Looks like we have more starter deck Joey. I bet it's, it looks like he has a lot of complete sets. I think I remember him saying that. So we have, looks like SDJ, First Dead, and Unlimited right next to each other. Some of them are missing. Next we have four Relinquished from starter deck Pegasus. Four of them. So this man loved Relinquished. Two Witch of the Black Forest right there. We got more commons right there. Yeah, so I'm going to speed through the commons so you guys aren't watching everything you know much comments all right here it looks like we're getting into pharaonic guardian we have a super rare right there that's pretty cool we've got the scarabs got all the cut there's the book of moon they're rare from pharaonic guardian eudoria we got a hell palmer that's unlimited but that is pretty cool got owl of luck there's a metamorphosis nice card Bizer Shock Ultra Rare. Oh, here we go. This is nice. We have the BPT set from 2003. The Genzo Dark Magician with LOB art. The Blue Eyes with the same art for some reason. Buster Blader. We've opened all those tins, guys. We opened them all at once in one video, so you guys can check that out. So pretty good. We have MFC here. So are we going to see a Dark Magician girl? That's the question. That is the question. We got a Dark Core. Ooh, there's some uh, wave motion cannons. Those were worth something for a while. 
We've got, let's see if we can find some hollows in here. Oh, we're losing cards. We have diffusion wave motion. That teased us. Just diffusion wave motion, no dark magician girl looks like. All right, then we have the uh, TSC secret rare promos. It's nice. Dark crisis, we're into dark crisis. Can we get the necros? Ooh, Shinado, king of the higher plane, first edition. That is a nice one. That is a nice pickup. Look at this Maju, it's absolutely destroyed. DD Warrior Lady, it's nice. Butterfly Daggers. We've got the four page Gaga Gigo. These are some old school cards, that's for sure. Ooh, Suki Yomi, very cool. Ooh, The Judgment of Anubis. If you guys didn't see the first edition Dark Crisis opening, make sure you guys go check that one out. Oh my goodness, look at that Gemini. What is this? Hi. Oh my goodness, that hurts to see. That hurts. Flipping through these, looking for, oh, there we go. Orca, Mega Whale, or Mega Fortress of Darkness, Mega Whale, uh, Guardian Angel Gem, nice. Here we have the SYE with three Dark Magicians, nice. Be nice if it was SDY. Be really nice. Ooh, BLS, gotta love those. The Ultra Rare, the original BLS. We've got three Blue Eyes White Dragons from SKE, so we're looking for uh, Kaiser Seahorse now as the Ultra Rare. Which is Black Forests. All right, that looks like that's it for that. We have Ancient Sanctuary. The Soul Absorbing Bone Tower. That was worth something for a while. Oh, look at this. Enemy Controller. Ultra Rare Unlimited. This is like a workout, guys. Flipping through these. And sitting like this. This is killing me. Ooh, we have a Mazera DeVille. Unlimited Secret Rare. Cool. All right, there's two of the movie cards. No Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Then we have the Secret Rare CT1 set. We're missing one of them. Are any of them misprinted? Looks like that one might be misprinted. Maybe the Insect Queen and the Obnoxious as well. Maybe him. Those might be four out of five uh, misprint super rares. That's actually pretty nice. Probably the nicest cards we've found yet, to be honest. I'm a little raspy right now. I can't, can't talk. Need some water. What can we get now? We got some Exodia limbs from DB1. Swordsman of the Landstar. We got the Humanoid Worm Slime. Here's a Dark Magician Girl, but it's from Rise of Destiny. That's still cool. Still a nice one. Oh, look! We have the one and only Dekoichi. This is the card I need. <laughs> I only have one of them. Dark Blade the Dragon Knight. We got an Ultimate Rare. That's the first one of those. And a Super Rare right there. Oh, here's another Ultimate Rare. Rare Metal Morph. I feel like if you're going to open Rise of Destiny, you always get Rare Metal Morph. I feel like that's true. Okay, final binder. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we can get in here. We have Legacy of Darkness cards. Or Labyrinth of Nightmares, sorry. We have, what is that, L-O-N. Royal Command Ultra Rare. That's our first Ultra. Hollows. Oh, there we go. Here we have the, the L-O-N cover card. Masked, Mask of Restraint. That's pretty nice. Oh, we got the Masked Beast and four Swordsmen of Lansta. So that's pretty funny. Gotta love that. Oh, look at there, the Cosmo Queen. That's pretty awesome from McDonald's pack. Then we have two DL1 Thousand Eyes. So those are nice. Double Imperial Order right here. That's pretty sick. Secret Rares. Will we have a Gen Zone here? That's the question. Ooh, check this out. Wow. A very beat up first edition Buster Blade. Like damage, straight up damage. Bent. All kinds of stuff. Ooh, there's a uh, Magical Hats. Not very many first eds in here. There are a couple, but there's a mirror wall. As I say that, first edition. Oh, looky here. We have, first of all, the graceful dice. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the BPT 2002. What are we missing? We're missing B-Skull. So other than B-Skull, everything's in here. That's pretty cool. That's a nice little set right there. Then we have a triple Serpent Knight Dragon set. That's really cool. Banisher of the Light, super rare. I'm gonna try and show you guys all the hollows. The twin long rods. There you go, Andy. That's just for you. Ooh, MST Mystical Space Siphon, the original printing before they printed it 500 times. We have a Mahavilo super rare. Then you got some birds. <laughs> some birds. Some electric snakes. There you go. That's for Simo. Black pendant super rare. Twin-headed Thunder Dragon Super Rares. So we got two of those. And we got a Witch of the Black Forest. Niwatori. What does that mean again in Japanese? Can't remember, guys. I can't remember. Oh. The Karibo. 
And the King of Yummy Makai. We've got a Time Wizard Ultra Rare. That's really cool. That's a nice one. Double Tribute to the Doom. Oh, no. The most legendary page yet. Four, not one. Not two. Not three. But four. Pekanyo Moth. And two Suijin. <laughs> not too bad there either. Here we go. SDK with no blue eyes. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Fantastic. Is there no LLB in here? Oh, here we go. Here's the blue eyes. Oh, wow. Look at that condition. Ooh, the condition on these cards are not very good. That's going to make it tough to That's going to make it tough to really get much value out of this, unfortunately. All the cards or not all of them, but a lot of them seem to be in bad shape. I mean, just look at that. They they look like they have been played since 2002. There is a metal morph secret rare. That's nice. As a trap hole. Okay, we got some LOB here. Is there any foils in here? All right, we have uh, two super rare Cursor Dragons. That's nice. Here's some supers. We got a Trap Hole and two Mystical Elves. A Dark Hole. That's a magic card. That's cool. Some of these are original, it looks like. Oh, and we do have a Dark Magician. That's pretty cool. That's a good way to end it. Dark Magician and two Flame Swordsmen. Pretty nice. Uh, not the craziest collection, but definitely really cool old school collection. There's some really cool cards, but the conditions were not very good. So let me know what you guys think you, I should pay for this. To be honest, I don't think it's going to be that much. I'm, I'm going to have to talk with him about what he wants. But um, with the conditions, whenever you get it, even if it's an old school hollow, a damaged card, or like heavily played, their values are just so low. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this random mystery collection. I had fun opening it up. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Okay, you. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>